This Farm to Fork segment is sponsored by NetFM. Today I'm standing in a cotton field with a great friend and a great farmer, Mr. Sean Howard. Sean, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. So tell me what goes in to making decisions. There's a couple or multiple varieties of cotton. What goes into to your mind in the process of what you're going to plant in the season? Economics. You can grow uh, Kayla or Pima out here or Hazara. I don't like Hazara. Uh, I grow Pima because I can sell it for 140 a pound. $1.40 as opposed to a Kayla, which is 90 cents a pound, and it basically costs the same to grow. Now, you as a farmer here in California, uh, you have to focus on the technological advancements, both in water, equipment, everything. Uh, you've gotten so much more efficient now, it, you're not using the same water you used to use in the past. No, we put drip in. With the drip, during the drought, it was really a savings. Uh, we we were able to farm more acreage on drip. Uh, the furrow irrigated is, it's the old way that we used to do it, and it's not very efficient. However, we recover all of our tailwater and send it back to the canal that uh, it can be used by another grower. Sure. Well, speaking of efficiency, uh, we've even gotten better at pesticides. Uh, you used to spray a lot more, and now you've cut it back quite a bit. I know that that's a big savings and also better for the environment true this year it hurt us i sprayed uh, six times for ligus and aphid but uh, the year before i only sprayed one time now, i know in the past uh, cotton was king and then it fell back off we're looking at maybe another 30 percent improvement next year in the amount of ground that's planted yes it's all water right we get water we can grow cotton and once they grow the cotton here in california it's our job then to support our local farmers for farm to fork i'm rich krebs